Hello everybody, it's Joe from Joe Pro Decor again and today I'm going to be testing out a new product and showing you the benefits of straining the paint out also. So I've been given this new product, it's out on the market and it's by a company called Paintnets. It's actually a, a businesswoman in the local area to me, she's come out with this new idea and what it does is it will replace, or it can replace... tools like this that we use in the painting and decorating trade to sieve our paint so you might be asking when do we need to sieve paint well for example this 10 litre tub was opened as a new tin on one job and this one was opened as a new tin on another job and if you don't use all the paint the paint does get contaminated with little bits of dust when you open and close the lid uh, bits of paint can dry on the outside and get into the paint and contaminate it so when using on a different job and remember this everybody you if you're using old paint you must stir well and you must strain the paint out to get all the little bits out otherwise all those little bits are going to be on your ceiling and on your walls when the paint dries and that's what we call nibs in the trade um, when we go onto a job and we have to do any uh, preparation on walls and ceilings, we usually have to give them a D nibbing, and that's scraping all them little bits of fluff off the roller. If people have used cheap roller sleeves, or um, it might be contaminated paint that they've used. So, this is how we um, combat that. So, like I say, we can use a sieve that you can buy in a supermarket or a homeware store, etc or we can use this new product that's just come out and it's called paint nets so what they are is and i'll show you now it's just i think the nylon correct me if i'm wrong if anybody can help me out or uh, maybe i can add the information later on i've been given these as a test um as a sample but i think they're a nylon material and um, they've got like a piece of elastic around the edge now this particular size fits nicely around a 10 litre tub of paint so what I'm going to do is I'm, I've just emptied the contents out of one of these tins into the other one for the purpose of this demonstration I've rinsed this tub out and I'm going to empty the contents now of both tins back into this one just to see how this works so um, that's what we're going to do now. I just want to explain the difference between this and the sample I've got today from Paint Nets is that one's more of a solid structure. Um, it's made out of metal. Um, you can't stick that in the washing machine to clean it, but you can put the Paint Net into the washing machine they are machine washable which is quite handy they do fold up to nothing they don't take up a lot of space I'm trying to think of advantages here over the other method that i normally use um you get different sizes of these now for me that may be might be a slight disadvantage in the fact that you have to have different sizes for different tubs whereas this as you can see it will just go over any tub it won't fill up the whole area but it will go on and rest over any tub like so so that's why i like that method but the beauty of this method is the fact that it does cover the whole tub so you're not going to less likely to get spillages over the side of what you're pouring the paint into so um, so what I'll do is I will now show you the actual pouring right, of the paint. So here we go. So first thoughts are the elastic band around the outside edge seems to be holding up very, very well. So it has got some strength in it. That's what I was concerned about. It's filtering quite through quite quickly which I like. Um, if you've got a heavy tub of paint and you're a, and you you know you're struggling to hold it or whatever, it's quite useful because if you do miss or you go off cue a little bit, see it's not going to go over the edges. Now I am pouring quite a lot into there now, so it is bellowing a little bit. But do you know what? I am actually quite impressed with that overall.
I'll have to apologise if the camera angle goes off, it's a bit awkward. Right, so, get the paintbrush, get whatever's left out of there. We don't have to worry about getting the dregs out now because we're going to filter it through, so. Waste not, want not, as they say. Not one for wasting paint, especially whites. So there you have it, right, so. That's pretty much gone all the way through. So there you can see, I hope you can see it clearly enough. That is all of the contamination that is in that paint tub. So, I mean, there's quite a lot there. So if you were to just put that straight in your tin and roll it out on your ceiling or your walls, they are all the little bits that you find afterwards when it dries. And you know, you can't really see them that well when the paint's going on wet. But as the paint dries, it flattens off and levels off. And that's when they become more noticeable when the paint has dried. So there you have it, everybody. It is so important to think to um, firstly uh, stir your paint and then sieve any contaminated bits out of the paint if you've already opened that tin. Um, you should be okay with a new tin, uh, but saying that, you know, you always double check, take the lid off. If it's been opened or the lid's become loose at any point, then you will need to sieve it through as well. So I hope this video has helped everybody and remember the name, it's Paint Nets and i will be giving you details um at the bottom of the video or on the video of where you can purchase this product from so take care everybody bye for now take care